Hello and welcome to the Beard Talks. I am the Beard Acre John, and this is my updated Tech It tutorial series. Uh, this is part three. If you'd like to check out part one, it'll be in the top left hand corner. In part two, would be in the top right hand corner. In part one, I explained how oxygen works on the moon and why leaves disappear at a certain rate. And in part two, I explained about how airlocks work and how they can make your base awesome. This one, I'm going to be talking about oxygen sealers. Now, these things are awesome. So, here we have my simple base here. I'll just show you quickly just a nice sealed base. I have it's all cool, it's all good. So let's go inside using the airlock I showed you how to set up in part two. So literally you come in from the outside, you go, ooh, turn it off, you come inside, and you're all good. And uh, this is my little base, it's very cozy. This is the oxygen sealer. Um it is, and it's just been powered by Redstone Energy Cell because I'm lazy at the moment. And to make this oxygen sealer, you will need four lead ingots, one invite ingot, one machine frame, which is, uh, machine frame is just literally gold, four iron and four glass. Uh, oxygen vent is literally three tin, one lead, and the oxygen fan is invar ingots, and I've told you how to do invar before, but invar is uh, made by two uh, iron dust, one ferrous metal dust, and you combine them together in a crafting table to make invar dust, and then you smelt it. And to get the invar gear, it's literally just iron, surrounded by invite ingots and then the redstone reception coal is actually two redstone one gold and you game on that gets you your oxygen sealer now you will need oxygen pipe which is actually which is six planes of glass three in the top of the three in the top of the crafting table three in the bottom that gets you four and um the oxygen collector you'll need as well i showed you how to do this in the first one but again is actually four lead ingots one redstone reception coal one oxygen fan one oxygen vent one machine frame and one oxygen construct the oxygen construct is literally three tin four in var, one oxygen vent and one tin canister. Tin canister is made by seven tin in a U shape in the crafting table. The also the other things you will need are the oxidable oxygen pipe, which is literally oxygen pipe with a tin decoration block. Now to make tin decoration block is literally stone plus one tin and it gives you four tin decoration blocks. And uh, the seedable stone conductive cell is literally uh, stone conductive pipe, which is stone pipe, which is uh, two stone either side of a uh, piece of glass and mineral gives you eight. Then you put that piece of uh, stone uh, transport pipe in the middle with redstone next to it, and it gives you a stone conductive pipe. Now you put that in between two stone conductive pipes, tin decoration blocks, gives you a seedable stone conductive pipe. And you can do the same with gold as well, just using the same recipe, but transposing stone for gold conductive pipe. Now those are the things that you will need. Now Let's go outside and I'll show you quickly. See so how easy is that? Let's go from outside. So here we have at the moment is my oxygen collector. As you can see, it's active, and this is being powered by two magmatic engines. Now I said you can use uh, redstone energy cells or any other engines. Now I'll just use it. Ah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Now you can fill these up literally like that, and they start working, and they're really quick and they're really easy and the awesome pieces of kit. Now, I'm not using the tree, I'm just gonna surround these with leaves, which can you get from shearing from trees, and then this will produce oxygen, which the oxygen collector will bring in. Now, you've got your oxygen pipe coming all the way here into this. This is the sealable oxygen pipe block. Now, that goes into there, and that goes into the back of the oxygen sealer. It does. As you can see, it goes into the back, so let's just break this. As you can see there. Oh, I broke the wall. <laughs> Dope. Things you can use any blocks, I'm just going to use stone for the moment to seal it again. So, as you can see there, it says sealed. Now, you can disable sealed and not disable sealed. So, um, at the moment, it's saying this room is sealed, meaning there's oxygen in this room. So, if I come out of creative mode, I can see I've got no oxygen stuff on all, and I'm still alive. See, if I go to the airlock, I can just go, now I'm dying because there's no oxygen out here. But if I do that... Ah, uh, it's sealed, but for some reason I'm still dying. I don't get it. There we go. It took a little bit of time, but you're still alive. So, it's sealed. But the thing is, if I break this, which might take a while, <coughs> so I'm just go creative mode quickly. See, look, there's a hole in the wall. Unsealed. It will tell you if it's unsealed, because, oh no, I can't get out. I, air is escaping through this hole, so if you fill up this hole, sealed simple as so now this you can survive in this in this place you can and um you can go in and out now one thing i will mention is this is why i've got this uh 
So, for example, if you've got a door here, like, lean to the outside, yeah, it doesn't like that. It considers this door is unsealed. It doesn't consider this a block. So, it needs to be a solid block to be sealed. Another thing is um, the size of your base. Now, if I take some of the oxygen away, let's quickly see. Let's leave it with maybe two. Let's leave it with two of them. So, oxygen output is 0.9%. So, if I come in here, the oxygen is decreasing. And now, as you can see, I've sealed the hole. But it's still saying unsealed. What? It's just it's very confusing. It says it's unsealed, but the room is sealed, and there should be oxygen. Now, if I take this off, I will start dying because it's still unsealed. This is the most important factor with dealing with oxygen sealers. You need at least I think it is um, at least thirty-five percent or higher to really properly seal a room. You you have well, I keep falling down. So if I add some, for example, I'll just add some more wraps here like that. And now we have an input of 3.7%. So if I come in here, up to 10, 11. Let's see, uh, we'll see when it is sealed. So I'm saying around about, for a, for a very small base such as this, I think it is at least 30, 35%. I've got on my space station, I've got like huge rooms. Oh, it's only giving me 15%, so I need to go and add some more. Um, I've got huge rooms on my space station, I have. And uh, it wouldn't actually seal the entire space station, even when I had 100% oxygen input. I had 100% oxygen input, and it still would not seal the, the um, station. See, now at 24, 25% 25 sealed. Okay, so we've got 20, uh, 25%. This has been sealed. This room has been sealed. So if I come out creative mode, I can breathe. I can, as you can see here, I can breathe at 25%. But the thing is, the bigger the base you produce, the more oxygen is needed to seal it. There is. I think 25% is the properly, the minimum amount of oxygen you need to seal a complete area but this can differ it can so as you can see there you can just disable seal and you will die you can enable seal and it's sealed straight away and you can still breathe it's a brilliant piece of kit you just need it one in a room or in your entire base all depends how big your base is you could possibly split this up but i would say for the as you can see this base isn't huge it's got a little room in here ceiling's quite high but the thing is the more at least 25% oxygen to seal this kind of room I had if I can I will show you my space station uh, which I might do in a minute so if you stay there I'll show you my space station. hi and uh, welcome to awesome space station now uh, this is my space station as you can see let's have a look and uh, here we have my oxygen sealer 100% oxygen input it has now I have all these rooms I do, here we have, have a room, that's my bedroom, which I haven't finished yet, and uh, then if you come down here, we have uh, my power room, which I'm just using, currently using 10 magmatic engines to power everything in my base, using this sealable um, conductive, uh, gold conductive block, I am, so transfer the power, as you can see, I've got no oxygen, I'm not in creative mode, and I'm surviving, now, uh, here's an airlock to go outside, and um, the way you spawn into the space station, you spawn on the inside and then you come outside. So there we go, 100%. So if I can't turn on creative mode, well, I won't turn it, but for example, down here is my garden, which I made just produce oxygen. I have four oxygen collectors, all connected to um, sealable blocks here and here and here as you can see so auctions getting around my base but these are all producing like about 27 percent each 25 but if you fill this room full of leaves i do but even with the oxygen content at a hundred percent it wasn't able to seal all of this and all of this as well everything in this room i wasn't able to seal all of it i wasn't I could not seal all of it. 
which is really annoying because I sit there and go, why isn't it sealing? And then I blocked up this little bit and it said sealed. So this little room in here is still... I'll put an extra sealer in here and it still wasn't enough to seal this room. So it is really iffy sometimes. You have to be really careful. I tried putting multiple oxygen sealers in, in, in every room. I did, but since doors don't count as sealers, you have to probably use airlocks perhaps to get from one room to another. But that's really... It just takes time and you need at least uh, a nine block radius just to create a one airlock there and another airlock here so you can get in and out and flip a switch but it's just like it's really annoying so i would say be careful i would because even as you see here 100 percent oxygen and it's still troubling to seal this entire room it is it's just ridiculous for example if i just like if i seal off this and I seal off this. It's all good. But the thing is, there's no oxygen in there. So if I come in here, I shouldn't be able to survive in here. But I do. Don't know why. But let's get that out. Now if I break this, what's it saying? Unsealed. Even at 100% auction, with these three walls down, it will not even seal all the way down there at all. I don't know why. It is really confusing. It is. It's, it is rather annoying, but there's not much I can do about it. So, that is really the thing. If you want a big base, you may be better with auction bubble distributors. You might. And as you can see here, sealed. Simple as. So, I would say... Be careful because these things are awesome because you can have one block just to fill up the entire your entire space station and you'll be good. Uh, but on other times, let's just go outside because I want to redo this seal. <laughs> As you can see, there's my little pad here and my airlock. Boom. But yeah, I will be careful. It is an awesome bit of kit. It is. I love it to bits. I'm glad it's working. But it's not efficient enough to fill a very large void. And the only way to separate each each room with one of these, and to make sure each one of these is getting enough oxygen, is to almost have each one of these to have at least two or three oxygen collectors per each of them. So that is a lot of stuff to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tech tutorial. I hope you've got some uh, interesting stuff out of it. Uh, if any questions, please put them in the comments down below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Hope you all have a great day if you are. Please check out parts one and two. I think they're very informative and can help you a lot. So let me just lift this spaceship above my head. Rawr. Anyway, hope you have a great day if you are. And uh, keep calm and grow up in. I'll catch you next time, people. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye. <laughs>